Hello, in this video we're going to continue talking about Ibsen RC Plus uh, 7 uh, software and uh, specifically in this video we're going to be talking about backing up the project, restoring it and uh, I will mention a little bit more information about the uh, virtual robots and how you connect to them or create your own virtual uh, configuration robot. So here we have no programs, no projects yet so we're going to restore one from one of the files I have so controller, restore, and now while it's restoring, if you monitor, if you watch here, it's gonna change it from offline to another virtual right here. It's changed it. If it doesn't change it, and it gives you an error, you just have to select one manually before, and then uh, and then you do restore. It will work. But you, but if everything good, it should change it for you and open the search folders here where your backup, where your uh, program is. So my program in download, for example, here you go, it is. And I will press OK. Now it asks me what do I want to restore. Like I said, I have not opened this project in this laptop, so I want to restore everything. But you have option to restore whatever you need. Press OK. Here we go. Now is after it restored my projects need it needs to restart the controller. And here the virtual controller. And we'll do the same thing even if you connected connecting to the real uh, robot. Switch it to program mode. All right, here I go, it restored it. So uh, before I show, actually, okay, so now this is my program from the project that I restored. And uh, I can go see my points, the touch up points, or the labels, they should be have labels. Okay, let's see, here you go. And uh, this project is actually using the field bus. A slave so inputs outputs so whatever your inputs and outputs and all that whatever you did in your project you can find it now as like you're connecting to the real robot so one thing is I want to talk about the connection is maybe this robot is not it doesn't have the, co the configuration that match the t6 sample that comes default from the company maybe it doesn't match the the configuration that you have in real live robot so if you go here go to the robot it shows you some uh, specification about this robot the model configuration if these are different and you don't like that and uh, you, you want to change them uh, but when it, you don't want to touch t6 sample you can create your own so you can come here i press on the connection you can add uh, a new virtual if you want to copy any of those you can but you want to create your own so you leave it empty press ok now here you name it whatever I want to name it VT6 for example and then press uh, apply close now if I go here I have VT6 option so I select it warning everything is gonna change it's not match yes And now I'm connecting toward the VT6. Now, the very important to go back and put your configuration in this one because we did not uh, choose any configuration from the default ones. So we go here, we go to the robot, and here you see the currently no robot in the system. So you're gonna had have, have to add one. So you add it. You put uh, robot name. You put your serial number. I'm not really 100% sure what my serial number. So I put just any number. You choose which one, uh, the correct parameters and configuration for your robot. And for, I'm just picking stuff. Um, and now you, you will match it to what you really have in your floor. And you press OK. It will restart the controller.
And you didn't have to do that unless you want it to be 100% match what you have in the floor. You have this way option. And now I'm ready. Uh, I can, if I need to change anything else, I do. If not, close it. And here I'm. I have now my VT6 set up for me for this project, and the configuration is matching. Now, before we do backup, uh, I want to make sure that you don't fall under like here under File save as if you press it it does not save your project it saves whatever you have it open like now i have the program open not the project the project is going to contain the program the point the touch up points the labels and gonna, the project is everything but uh the program is just one thing of the project if you have it the program open and you go to the save as is only saving the program not the project same thing the the points if you go here and you save as like you're saving only the points not the project not even the program just the points but if you want to save everything all the projects you have to do it from the tools the controller backup and here you can save it anywhere or you can use the backup file that comes uh, by default when you download the software it's under C, Epson, backup, and you save it. Here, when I open the program, it create a backup for me. Uh, but you can make another backup and name it whatever you want. Or you can create another folders and backup your program. So I'm going to back it up now. Right now, you, you can see I have only one backup, which is when I open the proje project for the first time. So now I'm going to back it up again. Successful. Now, if you want to go see this backup, here you go. I have the new backup. I just uh, backed it up. So that's good. And uh, that's it for this video. Uh, and let me, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, let me know if you have any other question you need to know about this software. Thank you very much.